Hi, welcome to UTA Planetarium live star stream. This is Levant Gürdemir, UTA astronomer and planetarium director. I'm here with you today to do another star stream and we are going to cover a different topic uh, this time and it's going to be actually a very interesting uh, topic. Right now, I'm in front of the planetarium theater where normally at this time of year we, we would expect a large student groups uh, to host field trips in the planetarium theater. But as you know, since March, our planetarium theater is closed due to ongoing uh, global pandemic. And, uh, and because of that, we are not able to use our theater. So we are meeting with you uh, on, on the live streams. So uh, we are going to do some maintenance check uh, today. And we wanted to share that maintenance check with you because this is uh, something we normally don't show to general public. They cannot access the, the, the server room, they cannot access to the projector area of the planetarium. But now, today, you have a special treatment, and we are going to let you to uh, see the, some behind of the scenes uh, content in the planetarium. So, in March, we closed the planetarium theater and we uh, turned off all the planetarium equipment, otherwise, they ran every day. And uh, we are going to do some tests of the, the, the projection equipment to make sure everything is working. So let's make, explain why uh, we are doing those checks. So here is our planetarium theater. Public normally comes from the, the door behind me. And uh, the, the public the, the goes immediately to the right side, uh, to the, uh, the seats, seat section of the planetarium. Now I'm going to use the maintenance door to check the, the projection equipment first. So here is the maintenance door. <clears throat> so this is what we call catwalk of the planetarium. Uh, this little area goes and wraps around the planetarium theater. And we have six high, uh, uh, highly contrasted, highly uh, bright, uh, and highly pixelated uh, planetarium projectors uh, for the planetarium. So this is one of the, the projection equipment hanging from, from the cove. And uh, we covered them by plastic because otherwise uh, there may be some dust accumulation inside the projectors. So when there is dust over the electronics, and those some of the electronics are using actually a lot of power, high currents. And when there is a high current and the dust mixes together, uh, there is a spark. Uh, possible spark. So we don't uh, want that spark to happen inside of a projector. So we covered them uh, by the plastic. But today uh, we uncovered all the plastics. We plugged the projectors back. So provided the power to the projectors. And we are going to turn them on. Uh, that will uh, uh, let the fans running inside of the projectors and blow some of the, the uh, light dust away from the projectors. Uh, before they create spark in the projectors. So, and hopefully we are not going to have any issues with the operation of the projectors. So, uh, we are not going to go uh, all the way down because uh, that area is a little uh, complicated. Uh, so, we are going to go to the server room uh, next. So, here now we are going to use the regular door to the planetarium. By the way, if you have any questions, uh, please drop the questions in the comments chat and we will uh, answer them as much as possible. So we use our special uh, ID cards to access the planetarium theaters. It's not uh, uh, usually uh, unlocked. So here our guests go enter into the planetarium theater and immediately there is a big wow factor because the theater is pretty large and uh, has a huge dome. It's 16 feet dome. Uh, and here is, again, uh, it's for employees only. Uh, it is only for our planetarium staff to use. And this is where the projection uh, computers are. And uh, well, in a normal server room, this is a little bit a chilly room. The temperature is uh, way below comparing to the outside. And here's our computer system. Uh, this is almost like a refrigerator sized cabinet. There are powerful computers in the, uh, in the cabinet that runs the projection system. Uh, one computer is not enough. Uh, multiple computers are needed to uh, generate the uh, realistic imagery. 
and, and this is what is required for high resolution, high quality show in the planetarium. Um, so uh, there is not much to see in that, but there's a lot of blinking lights and, uh, and the, 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 the fans are blowing pretty, uh, pretty um, the lot of air. And next to that is, uh, this is a larger size uh, rack and this is the sound system. In the planetarium, we have plenty of speakers uh, it is a 5.1 uh, sound system, but it is not like uh, 5 plus 1 speakers. There are multiple speakers giving different ranges of sound. And uh, because the sound is also immersive in our theater, the sound wraps uh, the audience. So this is pretty cool. All the amplifiers and uh, digital signal processors. The, all the, di the signals are digitally transmitted and it is a pretty cool system. Now, let's go back to our operating console where we normally uh, do our shows and inside of the theater we are using a special backdoor. So this backdoor is also something uh, you never see as regular visitor to the planetarium. And back there, he's, here is a big, big desk with a lot of computers and keyboards and uh, some uh, lights and sliders and buttons. Uh, so I'm going to sit at the... And uh, we already turned on all the computers for you. And... We are, okay, uh, sorry for the little uh, blackout. We had a little uh, battery issue with our microphone. Okay, in the meantime, I didn't do much. Uh, we'll just, uh, we just turned off uh, some of the lights and I am going to do a test image. Uh, so I will put a night sky image to see all the uh, uh, images are generated by uh, the system. Uh, there's too much lights in the theater. I cannot see much, but uh, maybe I can try a different test image. See if uh, I can see something that uh, that is noticeable with all the uh, all the lights in the theater. So one way is I can probably start a. What we call a uh, full dog presentation. Okay, that's uh, there's a lot of uh, sound in the planetarium theater, so I am just going to turn off some of the lights. And yes, it seems like um, all the projectors are uh, working. 
uh, generating images. Uh, I think we can just. Jim just turned off some of the backlight, so we can uh, cut all the the cold lighting. We have also floodlight, but yes, I can. You I can. What you want. Yeah, I can confirm that uh, all the projection system is working. And yeah, in normal times, the planetarium theater is dark like this, and. Uh, uh, and it, it's a huge dome uh, for a projection surface. Uh, all the projectors are uh, projecting part of the image. So image actually goes to the planetarium dome in six pieces. And we are looking at a combined uh, image and video, which is great. So I'm glad we, are, we don't have any technical issues at the planetarium. So as a next step, what we are going to do is we'll turn off the system once more uh, turn off all the projectors wait until the projectors are cool uh, cool enough that we can just recover them with the plastic bag and uh, we will repeat the same things as we did today uh, if we do not open in a few months and uh, and perhaps uh, and hopefully pandemic will be over and we will reopen the theater for visitors. We do have a question from Diana Pittman. She wants to know, do we get to see the galaxy? Uh, absolutely, with the in-person visits. <laughs> uh, we can show you not only a galaxy, we can show you in a precise way. Uh, for example, the nearest galaxy Andromeda and some distant galaxies as well. Uh, and we can also uh, visit those galaxies virtually at the planetarium because with the planetarium software uh, we have endless capabilities uh, in the space so we can go visit fly venture explore discover uh, we can do a lot of cool things once we are back open for in person visit so just to push her question further, Levent, uh, we want to know also, are we going to be talking about galaxies in the live star streams in the future? Not, not just public shows, but the live star streams. Uh, yes, uh, we should plan a, another talk for galaxies because galaxies have very interesting facts, uh, and especially uh, the Andromeda galaxy, for example. Uh, uh, our galaxy is Milky Way and the nearest galaxy is Andromeda and the two galaxies are actually approaching to each other they are actually going in the direction of each other so uh, two galaxies will collide in the future uh, and uh, it's interesting when two galaxies collide because that also what we think it triggers uh, the formation of a supermassive giant black hole Nice. Yes, we need to put together a uh, live star stream on the galaxy. Awesome. So I, I do think it's also important to see uh, when we came in, everybody, you may have seen this this uh, lighting system down here. Do you want to explain what's happening with that? So in case people are curious, they've never seen that in a planetarium before. Yes, uh, because the, the, our theater was uh, closed uh, to protect the, the public's and visitors' uh, health and safety, uh, we could not just go home and uh, do nothing. We had to do something. Uh, well, we cannot use our theater because it's not safe. We cannot maintain social distancing. It's a, a pretty much closed environment. Uh, we had great time with our audience when we, uh, before March when we were in operation. But we, we just uh, could not stop this, and we had to do something, and we, we thought, okay, we can do a lot of uh, cool things on the internet. That's how, actually how these live star streams started, and this is how uh, the weekly night sky videos started. Um, so uh, we are trying to engage and connect with you guys uh, as much as we can. And one of the, the special offerings of the planetarium will be this, uh, this season, this semester, or the, for the remaining of the year will be virtual field trips. Literally, for K-12, we will offer virtual field trips 
uh, and uh, that means the students will just sit at their home in front of their computer will connect the dam will connect them with the with the night sky uh, and uh, and will answer questions and uh, will be will do a lot of cool things so uh, that takes a lot of things uh, other than a camera and microphone so what we are doing is actually we are setting up a studio a stage for us so uh, that will allow us to uh, do some of the shows like a weatherman style uh, when the, the things are happening on the background I can point and even interact with the things on the background I can maybe like grab and rotate an earth and cut slides in half so we can see the interior of earth and things like that so uh, our software is getting ready our stage is getting ready and just in a few weeks uh, we will start with uh, our new studio and even for live stream we will use that too. all right uh, I don't see any other questions uh, if you guys have any additional questions please drop them in the chat we'll get to them as quickly as possible but uh, outside of that um, do we have any updates? Since we're in the theater, are there any updates, Levent, on when we're going to open? Uh, we don't have any updates yet as a uh, uh, lot of uh, institutions, like a lot of institutions, uh, we remain close for the events and also uh, not only Planetarium, the entire uh, student activities and events uh, across the campuses are on hold. And, uh, and I... Uh, asked a few times uh, when is the chance that we may potentially open again and uh, the answer is simple uh, but there's not just no, no date yet they say uh, whenever it is safe uh, we will open the theater but uh, when it will be safe again that's what I don't know all right well I don't see any additional questions well um, Hope to see you uh, next week and please let us know if you like the, the new time better uh, because this is the first time uh, we were doing the live streams at 1 o'clock uh, Tuesdays and now we pushed it back to 3 o'clock because schools are in session and we thought uh, most students are um, and most families, parents are busy uh, with, the, with the schoolwork. And this is our new time and please let us know if uh, you like uh, more or if you think better times for the stream uh, we are just trying and seeing if uh, the new time is working for you all right good to see you all and see you next week